best believe this when I saw it. Woman goes viral for charging money to parents for play dates. Can we normalize sending the other family money for play dates? So recently, my daughter had a friend over and I asked her mom for money and this is how it went. So after the play date, I texted her mom and I said, thanks for letting Jamie play today. Please help out with your share of the expenses for the play date, totaling $15 via Venmo. Let's, Let's do it again sometime. Let's do it again. Because I can't keep doing these play dates if it's so expensive. And she said, expenses? And I said, yeah, she used supplies and food while she was here. And this way we can do this more often without a monetary obligation on just one party, right? Makes sense. No, she didn't say much. But she did say what supplies, and of course I wrote them down. There was chalk, apple. Okay. Whoa. I need to take a. Whoa. I need to take a deep breath. We're charging play dates now. Mom, why don't I have any friends? I don't know. I, all I did was ask the, the girl's mom for a dollar for the chalk that Lily used. She sat on your chair, and that chair cost forty bucks. So technically, she rented it for like two hours. So that's about. 10 bucks. This list here, chalk, one dollar. Applesauce, oh, okay. one dollar. Oh, we're nitpicking. Oh, we're nitpicking. Oh, never mind, bro. No, 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 no. This one says three trips to the bathroom, three dollars. <laughs> oh, I didn't even do that. One. We no. charging for bathroom services now? Water, that's utility. That's three flushes, Ryan. Someone's gotta pay the water bill. Sat on couch, wear and tear a dollar. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, this mom is playing. Sat on the couch wearing tear. Okay, that one's good. Okay. Is this mom that down bad? Why did you have a child in the first place if 15 bucks is gonna be an issue every time your child has somebody to come play with her? I'm praying that this is satire. The mom? I Expenses? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Not even my answer. Expenses? I think the, the person who's responding is literally how anyone Everybody would be. What supplies? Uh, Matt, you have a friend come over. They sit on your couch. You turn around at that tip screen. That'll be, that'll be a dollar. Well, sauce fruit. She sat on the couch, so that's wear and tear. She actually broke a toy. She had three juice boxes. She went to the bathroom. She had yogurt. Then she actually sent the money, and I sent her a message thanking her for it, of course. She didn't say anything else, but I said, you know, this will make it easier for us to do more play dates in the future. So, what do you guys think? You're crazy. You're not normal. I hope that's fake. I can't imagine a grown woman, unless she's a comedian, just making this a joke. If this is satire, you know exactly what everybody's gonna say. Why would you just do this for why? Who would even? It doesn't seem like the type of thing that like, oh, this is a trolling joke. I've seen people be like, they'll troll and be a liberal BLM activist and they do a whole character. I've seen where that's the satirical thing. I feel like she almost got offended that she didn't text back. So now she's like, I'm gonna speak about this. And she's so deluded that she posted this. Can we normalize? asking the parents of the little girl that comes over for a dollar for wear and tear because she sat on my couch. No. I love the comment. Congrats, your daughter just lost a friend. Normalize bullying this lady. <laughs> she charged a child to sit on a sofa. Three dollars for using the bathroom is something Mr. Krabs would do. Too broke for your child to have friends over. No, it's crazy. No, bro, literally. If money is that much of a problem. By you being stingy, you're actually shooting yourself in the foot because you think you're saving yourself some money and you think you're doing the right thing. But really, I think you're like hindering friendships and stuff and you're making people think that you're bro, a penny this is a way for this daughter to connect, learn about each other, build. That girl could have been a lifelong friend and now you know that mom never took her over there again mm -hmm. let them have fun let them make memories this is like the most precious years of their life the people who are penny pinchers and the people who count favors well i did three things for you and you have to do three not how it is okay y'all bruh thanks for letting jamie play today please help out with your share of these fences <laughs> For the play date, totaling 15 bucks. Is the money that tight for 15 bucks? Ma'am, you have an iPhone. Is money that tight? I can understand $15 being make or break for a homeless person. Come on, ma'am. You uploaded this in your house with Wi-Fi. You have a child. $15. You used up all the chalk. Fruit, $1. Sat on couch, wearing tear. Broke a doll, five bucks. Three juice boxes. She did run up the juice boxes. Three trips to the bathroom. That, how do you? She's keeping eyes on how many times a child used the bathroom. The amount of times that I've had friends over, I've been to friend's house, Everybody eats everybody's food, uses simple things in the house. We all got bills today. We could be billing everybody, every single one of our friends, every single time we hang out of that's what needs to be done. Like being a hard ass and being a penny pincher under Mr. Krabs never works out well for you in the long run. Whereas being giving and generous pays dividends, literally. Cause I'm like, if they're gonna do more play dates, I'm sure there's gonna be a time where she goes to her place and also uses their bathroom, their couch, their toys, their food. What, what? Well, now this is 
is what the other mom needs to do now, is have the other daughter go play over there, and now she starts taxing. Exactly. Rubs her feet on the, the doormat. Wear and tear. Five bucks, wear and tear. She had caviar, a hundred. Then you feed her the most expensive stuff on your place. And you could just cap too. Wagyu <laughs> beef, 200. Salt Bay's Wagyu beef. Yeah. Sorry, she ate it, you gotta pay. She owes me 20 bucks for making me listen to this BS. Wear and tear fee on couch usage That's is crazy. insane. Oh, right here they said it. The correct response is to take her kid out on the most expensive play date possible, <laughs> then hit her with a yeah. $500 play date bill. You want to split expenses? Oh, for sure. Oh, we can play that game. We can hang out tomorrow, actually. $1 yogurt. Hand it over. I'm just gonna play this video. This is a person dressed up as a cat doing a role play in a children's playground area inside of a mall. I love the internet. It's like a girl too. Come on, we can't play. I'm asking her to move. Would she be doing this if she wasn't filming? What's good, G? Not the kid knocking. <laughs> nah, take that somewhere out. It's not good. To that at all. <laughs> she's a runner, she's a tractor. Bruh. Look at that leap, though. <laughs> That was kind of right, impressive. To be fair, I mean, I didn't even so press jump like that from the ground. She do got some ups if you were keeping it real. Imagine having the audacity to get mad that there's little children playing at a children's playground that you invaded to do your weird role playing stuff. The kids think she's the playground mascot. Hey, normalize everything. It's coming to a mall near you. Intentionally filming it in a mall in the kids zone is crazy. <laughs> that leap though. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Like, do that somewhere else, though. If it was a man doing that, though, think about it. You're getting put, taken out in cuffs. Quadrobics. Allow everything. Question nothing. No. Do whatever you want. Push it on the kids. Hey, 2024. Why did you choose the kids zone? Bro, anywhere else, bro. Unless she wants the kids to, like, play with her, which is then weird. Does she walk in as the dog? Right, does she only now get on her fours once she gets <laughs> to the playpen? <laughs> yeah, does she get, look around and then she takes the tail out of her pocket and start clipping things Put on? Massive. <laughs> what animal would you be if you could be an animal? I think I want to be some sort of big ass bird. Just because I get to fly and shit, you know? I'm just thinking Black Panther is trying to be stealthy. Oh my, I can see like that. looking dope. But birds are stealth. I wanted to be like a tiger of some sort, like a Bengal tiger, I think would be cool. I think they just look tough. They may look tough, but if you got a beat coming at you. <laughs> you also, Rob has the best one where like, you can just stay out of danger at all times. And I don't know, this might sound weird though, because I have thought about this frequently. The ability to be such a tough, aggressive animal, but then like when you're with your girl and shit, I could be purring and shit. What? I'm done. Hey. It would be this perfect just dichotomy of, of like strong and vulnerable. And then it's like, that's your one moment of just that when nights, it's nighttime. All right, so that's the end of the video.